Hi again and welcome to another e-bike related video. In this video I'm going to show you how I took apart my hub motor and unfortunately I will also show you how that failed in a very very bad way. But uh, <clears throat> let's begin with how to take apart a hub motor that has a lock with these three recessed holes. To be able to do that you need to uh, fabricate a special tool <coughs> and here is my version of that tool. This is just a 10 millimeter thick aluminum plate and I drilled one hole in the center which is 13 millimeters in diameter and then three holes uh, uh, 120 degrees apart and the distance between each hole uh, linear is uh, 39.75 millimeters. I used 5 millimeter allen bolts and uh, put these bolt heads in my lathe and turned them down to 7.8 millimeters in outer diameter and as a result this tool fits here on the, the cover of the hub motor so what you can do now is to turn the, the hub motor upside down fasten this in your vise and then just uh, open the cover by rotating your wheel counterclockwise and that should really work fine if you don't do the mistake I did and the mistake I did was that when I attempted to do this I had all the nuts and bolts and washers left here on the axle and that prevented the cover here from uh, separating from the rest of the on the hub uh, I thought that this cover, just only the cover, would uh, be removed. But it turned out that with the cover comes everything else except the rest of the of the body of this hub. Let me show you how it looks like when it's separated from the rest of the hub body. So here is the hub motor taken apart. This is the the cover which I attempted to unscrew and you can see it's all here attached as well as is the axle and when I had the, the washers the, the bolt sorry the nut here installed still of course it could, this could not pass through it wanted to go like so but it was impossible and as a result I ruined the threads here on the the hub body. You can see the outermost threads are are bad. And unfortunately, I was so eager to open open the the hub motor that I did not notice my mistake in time. So as a result, I managed to open it, and I also ruined my first hub motor. Why did I want to open it? Of course I was a bit curious to see what it looked like inside after 5000 kilometers and I also thought I wanted to count the the how many teeth that my gears had so I felt I should buy a, a, a set of spare gears now after 5000 kilometers so when the gears would eventually fail I would have a set of spare gears too. Uh, install but that turned out not to be such a good idea I'm trying to remove the gears here now with one hand and let's see like so so here are the nylon gears and I think this uh, metal cylinder there that's the clutch and after 5,000 kilometers, I think the gears are pretty good. This is what it all looked like when I opened it the first time. I really haven't cleaned much anything in here. Uh, 
if you look very closely and if the camera would focus you can see that this may be slightly a bit of wear on the on the gears but I don't know this would probably be good for another 5000 kilometers I think all the bearings on the gears are spinning very smoothly I notice a bit of roughness on that gear uh, sorry on that bearing down there whereas uh, this bearing here on the other side seems to run smoothly still so that's what my hub motor looked like inside after 5000 kilometers if you want to open yours go ahead you might need to fabricate a, a special tool and um, had I not done that mistake I bet this would have come apart very nicely and beautifully so my curiosity cost me 200 euros in a new hub motor which I will install soon in another video so thankful thanks for watching